All right, welcome to the presentation of the uh, Cognigy and Ring Central Engage integration. And here we have a Cognigy web chat that is integrated with Ring Central on the back. And it's a web chat about hotels. Here we click the button, we get a message, and we can see some um, some options that are given. Like, do you want to get a hotel in Tokyo or Bangkok? And we can see these messages directly here in uh, in uh, Ring Central already. And if the user now uh, chooses one of those, we can see the conversation happening in Ring Central as it's happening. And here we get a nice web chat gallery. And if we don't have the ability to display this in Ring Central, we're displaying some text. Now I can also write text, of course. Of course, like for example, I want to go to Bangkok and I misspell Bangkok and it says, sorry, I don't understand that. Do you wanna do you want to talk to an agent? And this is where we can then trigger the handover. And we click yes. And now we are in the queue to talk to an agent. And as long as we're in the queue and no one has accepted this chat, we can uh, we will always get this message back while we're waiting. We can click return to the bot to actually return to the bot and uh, speak to the bot again. But now, of course, in this case, we want to accept it, so we engage in uh, Ring Central engage, and we can see now the message uh, comes into the agent folder here, and we can see the the whole conversation, and I can start engaging with that uh, that customer here with like, hi there, uh, this is the agent, how may I help you? And we get the message, and you can see that the icon has changed, right? And this icon is actually configurable. Um, so as a user, we might go in and say, I want to go to Thailand, uh, to Bangkok. Uh, so I still write it wrong. We get the message here. And the I agent, of course, understands what they mean. So they say, sounds great. How about uh, one of these hotels? Now, what we've done is we've put a special feature in where the agent can talk to the bot and get the bot to answer to the user. So we can say bot, show hotels in this case, and put in the name of the city. And this will get the bot to generate a gallery and send that back to the user. So we, the, bot, the agent can generate structured messages through the bot that are then passed back to the user. So the conversation continues. And um, here we go. So the agent says, can I help you with anything else? And uh, maybe the, the user answer is uh, negative in this case. So um, the agent goes like, okay, bye-bye. Um, or maybe not. Maybe we say the agent actually uh, sends another, um, another item, like a voucher or something like this. So we say, here's a voucher for you. Send that off and uh, pick a voucher a graphic and send that off. We can see it appears in the web chat. And we can, of course, also send videos. Um, we can put text and videos or text and attachments together. So uh, here's the video, and with that, I'll let you go. We send that in. It's automatically displayed uh, in the web chat uh, correctly. We can play the video uh, if we want uh, in the web chat, and so on and so forth. And now in uh, Ring Central, we can solve this conversation, which means we're back with the bot. And the nice thing is we have full access to the context of the conversation, right? So I can pick a hotel from the ones that the agent sent me, and for example, in this case, and book it, go through and uh, make my booking, use all the nice things we have, like date pickers and so on and so forth.